we all know that we are in a race. What I see, a race against life. You see, this life is like this. We come to this world, it's like a theater. Everyone is performing according to his ability. Now, when your show is over, when the curtains come to a close, everybody will clap hands for you. The clapping of hands will depend on your performance, what you deliver to the, to the world. And when that curtain draws close, meaning when you die, you head for eternity. The whole world can stand up in ovation for you because of your great performance here on earth. But if God, the who created you, that whom you are now going to meet after your exit from the world theater, does not have record of you, then all your performance would have just been in vain. All your good works would have been in vain. You see, the Bible said it is appointed unto man once to die, and after that, the judgment. This world we're living in is a borrowed life, it's not ours. God created us in His own image, breathed life on us so that we should live. So we need to understand that eternity is real. How you run your race here on earth is very, very important. And when you run your race, you need to focus on whom you're trying to please on the race. Because the race against life is not about how your neighbor rate you or how your friend, your colleagues at work, at home, family rate you. Everybody can say how wonderful you are, but you want to make sure that when you also come into the present, when you exit the theaters of life to eternity, you are able to be received with the bigger ovations of the angels of heaven. And where the Lord will say, welcome back home, my son. So let's not forget that at the back of our mind. As long as, as much as we work hard, we do everything, study, do everything to make sure we are successful here on earth. Let's not forget the greatest success we can ever achieve is having a life in eternity that we live and will last forevermore. God bless you.